What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, and today is the start of the Shamrock and Awe event for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Today I want to recap all the new content in the game for Blackout Battle Royale, and also I want to give you guys my thoughts on the event as a whole because I got a lot to say here, and myself plus the community are very upset with how the event is being ran this year. And I say event in quotation marks because it's technically not really an event. So let's check everything out and see what's in store for us. Now Shamrock and Awe is going to be running until March 26th. So we got a good two weeks of playtime. Plus this week is going to be spring break for most of you guys, which is also very nice. Xbox and PC players, the event is going to be starting on March 19th for you guys. So next week is when y'all can get started with the event. And as you can tell from the gameplay, the Blackout Battle Royale map has been updated to show off a more vibrant, colorful springtime appearance. And so far, this is my favorite reskin of the map. Also, one of the new additions is this plane towards the northwest side of the map in the water here. And this is the same plane that Weasel, Sal, Billy, and Finn used to escape Alcatraz Island from the Zombies map Mob of the Dead. And I assume that this is Treyarch's way of teasing the Mob of the Dead map location coming to Blackout Battle Royale. Just like how they tease Standoff or Outlaw um, and with, with the little clock tower and then buried with the lollipop, the lollipop sign from the candy store. So um, again, Alcatraz is going to be coming to Blackout. I'm not entirely sure when, but that could be coming out in the next big patch update. Any information I find or updates, I'll be sure to keep you guys posted. Now, there is also a new LTM called Hardcore Blackout, which is essentially a mix of the hardcore multiplayer settings minus the one-hit health, but with a Battle Royale twist to it. And within Hardcore Blackout, there is no armor, no HUD display, no vehicles, or zombies. And I like the idea for the game mode. However, I probably won't be playing too much of it because I just love Hot Pursuit right now. I've had so much fun playing that game mode and hopefully that stays as a permanent mode going forward here because at this point, I like it better than the regular quads right now, if I'm going to be honest. And speaking of LTMs, your wins plus stats in these modes are going to be transferring over onto your actual record now. So if you sign in and see an increased number of wins or your stats have changed, it's because of that. And right now I'm sitting at 250 wins. Let me know how many wins you guys have down below in the comments. And then next up, another cool little feature in the Blackout map are these rare golden pots or quads cauldrons which can contain a stack of paint cans plus the money sack melee weapon i haven't seen anything else in there besides these two loot items and yeah make sure you check extra hard while looting because you may come across one of these golden pots also another really cool feature are these homunculus leprechaun hordes and if you happen to kill them then they're gonna drop a bunch of really good loot items as a reward and so far, I found them at the firing range and the farm locations, but they do spawn in at random locations around the Blackout map. And you can find them because they play a funny little tune or song that you can hear. And the closer you are to the homunculus, the louder the song will play. So I really do like this a lot. Again, they drop a lot of good loot items. So if you find one, be sure to kill it and then loot the items. And then also Firebreak's Purifier, Zero's EMP Grenade, and Outrider's Sparrow have been added to Blackout Battle Royale, which I think is going to add a bit more of a dynamic gameplay uh, to Blackout, especially Zero's EMP Grenade. That's going to be very, very useful. Vehicles will also drop in at random locations around the map, just like how supply drops will randomly drop from airplanes. A plane is going to fly in into the game and drop vehicles, and then lastly, operator mods are also now in Blackout, which is pretty dang cool and something I've wanted for quite some time now. Just like how um, Zero's EMP Grenade, Outrider Sparrow, Fire Rakes Fear Fire, I think it's going to add a different dynamic to Blackout Battle Royale. And so yeah, guys, this is all that has came to the update within Blackout Battle Royale. Um, really do like this update a lot for the game mode as a whole. Also, one last thing I want to mention is you can pick up a free gesture and calling card 
by heading over to the black market. Of course, you have to log into Black Ops 4, but if you head over to the black market, then you're going to get these two items for free plus one reserve crate. So uh, make sure you go ahead and do that. Now, guys, as for the Shamrock and all event in general, like I said, I myself and many others are pretty disappointed because this really isn't an event since there is no tier stream in the black market. Pretty much the only event piece is the Shamrock and Awe bundle, which contains every loot item for the event for $20. So if you have saved up all of your reserve cases because you hit max rank in the uh, Grand High stream, unfortunately, you will not be able to get those items unless you purchase the bundle. And like, I just want to know what the hell happened over at Treyarch and Activision. Like, there is so much content found in the data files for the game. That Demo Hammer melee weapon, the Mini-14 Sniper, Blackout character skins, Mastercraft variants. I'm so confused why they didn't decide to, one, add those into a, a stream. And two, why there was no clarity with the event. Like, they could have just said, hey, there's not going to be any tier stream beforehand or something like that. But I guess we should not really expect the devs to add anything. However, in terms of the Shamrock and All events from previous years, this is the biggest letdown in my honest opinion. Like last year for Call of Duty World War II, the headquarters was all decked out for St. Patrick's Day. We got new weapons, new variants, camos, charms. The Leprechaun, the Leprechaun Hunt game mode was a ton of fun as well. Like, I'm just so shocked there wasn't more content added for the event. Now, maybe we could get a stream coming out later this week. Hopefully, cross my fingers. But in terms of events in COD history, this has to be hands down one of the worst events I've ever seen. Very, very disappointing if I'm going to be honest. But again, the updates for Blackout have been super duper fun so far. But in terms of everything else, it's honestly just mediocre. And if I did not play Blackout, then I'd be even more upset right now. So for those of you guys who play regular multiplayer only or zombies, I do feel very, very sad for you guys because the majority of the updates are for Blackout and not really for the other two game modes. But please tell me thoughts about the event down below in the comments. Are you guys excited? Do you guys, um, do you guys feel you know differently how I feel? Again, please tell me down below in the comments. Also, drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I love y'all so much. Again, possibly we could be seeing an, an event stream coming later this week. Um, but I would not really hold my breath. Again, wait and see what happens. And so yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I love y'all so much. Till next time, I'll see you later.